Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this baby blanket right here. It's approximately 30 inches by 36 inches. And of course you can make it longer or shorter if you want. It's actually a very easy pattern. The stitch is called the woven stitch. It's super easy to do. It's got uh, some picots around all the way around it i think made a nice little uh delicate touch to it i think it turned out nice i love the yarn and the striping effect so uh, let's go ahead and get started on it okay i'm going to take a moment to ask you to please not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that way you never miss a tutorial that i put on and when you go to subscribe if you click the little bell that's next to the subscribe button it'll no notify you every time i put on a new video or i do uh lots of yarn shopping videos and lots of yarn reviews and lots of giveaways so you don't want to miss out any of that stuff so if i'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and give me a like and subscribe okay for this project i use Caron Chunky Cakes. It is a 100% acrylic super bulky six yarn. Now you don't have to use this brand of yarn, but you will probably need to use a super bulky six to get the same effect I did, especially with the picots being as large as they are. Um, the super bulky six really worked out well for this uh, particular pattern. And the colors that I the color that I use is called Cherry Jubilee and let's see the yardage there's 297 yards in each cake and this is what i have left of my third cake so you will need three cakes you will not use all three but you will need three set that to the side and then i'm going to be using a size n which is a nine millimeter crochet hook now i do believe uh some ends boys started making their end hooks 10 millimeters and that'll work too so if you have a newer boy hook it's probably a 10 millimeter if you have an older one it's a nine um your blanket might be just a wee bit bigger but probably not much to really notice they're pretty close to the same size so either one of these will work but i did use the nine on mine Okay, this stitch is done in a multiple of two in case you want to make yours bigger or smaller or make something else with this stitch. But I started with a chain of 76. So once you get your chain of 76 done, what you want to do is single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, single crochet into that second stitch and then we're going to chain one we're going to skip one and single crochet in the next so skip this one and single into the next chain one skip one and single into the next that's the repeat now for row one chain one skip one single crochet into the next then you chain one skip one and single crochet in the next now you want to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of the row Okay, I'm coming to the end of row one. I single crocheted and chained one. I have two stitches left, so I just want to skip one and single crochet into the last stitch. Now, at the end of row one, you should have 38 single crochets that you've made. So, now what I'm going to do is chain one and turn my work. I'm going to make this chain one a little bit bigger because I'm going to be working into this turn chain later i normally don't do that but for this particular stitch i'm going to and i don't want it to be so small later when i get to it that i can't get my hook through it so i just made the chain one a little bit bigger so when the time comes for me to work into it 
it's there and I can see it and it's not real real tiny okay so now what we're gonna do is skip this first single crochet here and we're gonna single crochet right through this chain next chain one space so just go right through it and single crochet and then we're gonna chain one skip this single crochet and single crochet right through the next chain space chain one skip the single crochet single crochet right into the next chain space and that's the pattern we're going to repeat here for row two chain one skip the single and single crochet right through the next chain space chain one skip the single single crochet right through the next chain space and we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of row two just like that okay I'm coming to the end of row two and I did single crochet in my last chain space and then I chained one now I'm going to end with a single crochet right here in this turn chain here sometimes it's hard to see but it's this little chain here on the end go right through that and single crochet I like to try to get both loops if you can there we go single crochet just like that and you should have 38 stitches still 38 single crochets now we're just going to repeat row two for the rest of the pattern so what we do is we chain one I always chain one kind of loosely and turn our work and we single crochet into the first chain space so right here we're skipping the single crochet and single crochet and right there into that chain one space chain one skipping the single and single into the chain one space chain one skip this single single crochet into the chain one space and then we're just going to repeat this all the way down single crochet in into every chain one space chain one in between so single crochet chain one go to the next chain one space single crochet chain one the next chain one space single crochet chain one so we're repeating what we did on the last row until we get to the end And again, when you make it to the end of a row three, I just did a single crochet into my last chain one space, and then I chain one, and we're going to end with a single crochet into this turn, this chain one right here, this chain one turn chain. So go right into it. That and single crochet. Now again. 38 single crochets is what you should have and we're just going to keep repeating that row until we get the blanket as tall as we want it to be so again you just repeat it we're just repeating what we did row two and row three they're both the same so row four will be the same chain one and turn skip this very first single crochet and single crochet into the chain one space chain one single crochet into the next chain one space chain one single crochet in the next chain one space chain one you probably get the drift by now I bet it's pretty easy so we're just going to keep repeating that row two that we did 
until we get the blanket as tall as we want it to be. So I'm going to continue working and I'll let you know how many rows I do in just one second. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of 90 rows from beginning until end. Now, if you want your blanket bigger, you can do yours as big as you want. Of course, you never have to do it the same as me. But if you're following along with me, you get I don't have a lot of workspace, but all right. Now, I just ended my 90th row. I didn't tie off. What I'm going to do now is go around the whole piece with a row of single crochet before I put my edging on. This is just going to clean up the edge and make it easier to put the edging on. So into my 90th row, I didn't tie off. I still am attached. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch down the side of the blanket. Now when you're working down the side of the blanket, you can see that the stitches are probably a little bit harder to see versus working up here where you can see them really well. So you just, I kind of put one at the end of every row. So right here. And then the next row, you kind of, I kind of just go in between um, the last stitch, kind of like that hole right there. That's kind of where I do my edging stitches. Right here you'll see a hole next. And then kind of right here in this hole. It's kind of just going in between the, th the last stitch and the second to the last stitch, I guess. That's kind of what you're doing. Or just kind of, just kind of do your best, the best you can to try to get one stitch at the end of every row. It's not going to be exact. So I'm going to continue working. Kind of put in my one stitch and at the end of every row here my one single crochet kind of get doing the best I can remember it's not gonna be perfect it's homemade I always say it don't worry about your work being perfect because it's homemade if you wanted something perfect you buy factory made and even half the time then it's not done right <laughs> so just do the best that you can. So I'm going to continue working down this side, putting my one single crochet at the end of every row here until I get to um, the end. And I'll meet you at the end of this long side. And then we'll work around the corners. So that's cleaning up that edge. Okay, I've made it all the way down the long side. And you can see the edge is a nice, it's cleaned up real nice. So what we're going to do in the corner when you get to your corner stitch is we're just going to put three single crochets into that corner and also into every corner. That just helps round it out. It helps the blanket lay more flat at the corners. And then let me flip my blanket around without knocking my camera down. It's a task. There we go. I did it. Okay, now we're just going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch across this short side now. Until we get to the next corner. And when we get to the next corner, we'll put three single crochets into that. And then we'll continue working up the other long side. One single crochet at the end of every row. And then three single crochets into the next corner. So basically now we're just going all around the blanket with a row of single crochet, putting one single crochet in every stitch and three single crochets at the corner. Remember when you get to this other long side, just try to put one single crochet at the end of every row. So we're going to go all the way around, one single crochet in every stitch, three in each corner until we get back to our starting point. 
Okay, when you make it up here to your last short side, this is my last row that we just did. And I put, let's see, three single crochets, I think, here, in this last corner. And I only had two. I apologize for the angle. It's so hard for me to get a good angle on a big blanket. But three single crochets into that last corner. Or the third corner, I'm sorry. So we're working at the top here. All around the top, right over here is where we started. Um, started going around the sides. Um, what you want to do for this is you just put one single crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space. So you just go into the chain one space and into the single crochet, into the chain one space, and into the single crochet. And you just do that until you reach the end to where you started. Just like that. Okay, when you make it back to your starting point, this very last stitch up here at the top, you want to put three single crochets in it because that's going to be our last corner. Like that. And now you want to get some type of a stitch marker. I'm just going to use this piece of yarn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start the Pico edging. Um, now, if you don't want that on there, that's fine. You can just slip stitch into your first single crochet here and be done with it. But if you want to follow along with me, now the number of stitches that you have now around your piece, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. The only thing it needs is it needs to be an even number. So if you came up with an odd number of stitches, you can just leave one of these stitches out of this last corner to make it even. That's all, it just needs to be even. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and place the stitch marker right here where we ended. And we're gonna start our Pico edging. So we're gonna go ahead and single crochet into this first single crochet here that we did on the edge. Not this chain one that's right here, that doesn't count. It's right here on this side, this first single crochet. So go ahead and single crochet right into that, like that. And now we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna put a pico on this single crochet. So what we're gonna do is chain three, and we're gonna come down and slip stitch. Now, a lot of people like to slip stitch into the first chain of the pico. I don't do that. I slip stitch right through the side of the single crochet. I think that holds the pico in place better. So like that, and slip stitch. And that makes a little ball there. And now you wanna go ahead and single crochet into the next stitch. There we go. So that's what the pico looks like. It just puts these little balls on it. And it actually looks pretty cool with the chunky yarn. It makes them really thick. So again, we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll put our pico on this stitch. So we'll chain three and come back down. And here's the single crochet. I go through the side of it. One stitch here and I grab this bottom stitch here and slip stitch. Now, if you're finding that hard to do, you go right ahead and slip stitch into the first chain of the chain three of the pico. I mean, that's fine. And then we single crochet in the next stitch and that locks our pico down. Just like that. So there's two picots. Again, we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch and pico. So we're gonna chain three and come right back down. I grab that loop there and then this bottom loop right down here and slip stitch. And then my yarn split. And then we single crochet into the next stitch and lock that pico down. And that's what we're gonna repeat all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. So single crochet again into the next stitch and then we pico one, two, three, 
slip stitch and single crochet in the next stitch to lock that picot down single crochet again in the next one picot and slip stitch right there after that chain three and single crochet in the next to lock that picot down so that's what it starts to look like and we're going to do that all the way around even around the corners there's nothing special that we do at the corners anymore no more extra stitches we just picot right around them in the same manner that we're doing this so i'm going to keep working and i'm going to go all the way around my piece doing these picots until i get back to my stitch marker okay once you made it all the way around with your picots what you want to do to end it is slip stitch into your first single crochet. I had a stitch marker somewhere, but I lost it. But anyway, so slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made. And then tie that off. And hide your tails. And that is it. I don't have a lot of room to show you, but I will take a picture. Put it at the end of the video and then at the beginning. I think it turned out really pretty. I love the color of the Caron cakes. And that pico around it just made a nice added detail there. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Very easy baby blanket. It turned out very nice. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. And I got some yarn shopping videos. And... Uh, yarn of use all kinds of stuff for you to enjoy and if you make this or anything else Don't forget to post a picture on my Facebook page because I'd really like to see it I'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time have a good day